Hello once again, my people, it is I, Veed, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Last episode, we got to know a little bit more about Gundam, you know, just that, you know, he has a website about his breeding, about his, like, animals and his breeding process, it's cute. Uh, and then we met up with Kazuichi with this creepy scheme to see what Miss Sonia would be wearing when she went to the beach. Now we have to go... Uh, help out Kazuichi because all the girl like Hajime was embarrassed from all the girls. So what's going to happen in this episode? No idea. We're just probably just going to help out Kazuichi and we're going to have a fun time. Hopefully, knowing Monokuma, probably not. Let's get started. All right, you know the you know the drill. We're going to check on Snake Me. Snake Me is doing good. There is no despair up in her grill. All right. Let's go to Chandler Beach, let's go meet up with uh, Kazuichi super quick, and let's just set this whole thing up real quick. What? Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! I cut it off at the right time! Whoa! Okay! <laughs> Who is it? Bitch! I didn't even see it! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A body? That's a lie, impossible! Someone... Someone come here! That's Kazuichi. That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. Uh, inside the building, maybe? Did that scream just come in from in here? Cautiously, I reach my hand towards the doorknob. As I twist the doorknob and try to open the door. It won't open? It's locked. No, this is different. It's like something is blocking the door from the other side. What does this mean? Oh, bitch. What the fuck? Is anyone out here? Bitch, what the fuck? Kazuichi! Kazuichi, where the fuck are you? Okay, you've got to be inside. You've got to be inside. Kazuichi! What's going on, dude? Kazuichi, stream. Did I hear it coming from here? No, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like this? As I raise my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, it was fucking Mahiru! Wait, what? Yo, what's up with the mask, dude? Wait, now that I'm looking closer at it, isn't this the same pose that ended in when we played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? But still, though, Mahiru, I mean, like, she was cool. I didn't care about her, but, like, she was cool. The fuck? If this was all a dream, when did I... When did I begin dreaming? If this is reality... Why is Mahiru on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. Oh, fucking K, dude. <laughs> this is a great way to start off the episode, let's be honest. Yo, Mahiru. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Towards us and towards herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Oh, I just noticed the canon representation. <laughs> they got sponsors up in this game. Why did this happen to her? 
The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it. Uh, hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But, but why? Are you kidding? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me! I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh. Huh? Um... um... <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking me too, Ibuki. Now's not the time to make bubbles! Hurry and get the others! Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return. Around the time I realized that the others were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? Ah! Why, Mahiru? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this? F for heaven's sakes, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beast house until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Ah, uh, hold on a sec. Hmm. Those things beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know, the footprints that are uh, in front of that door. There are footprints. Oh, wait, there are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? Uh, if you mean evidence. Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. What the? Another class trial? You serious? Then, are you saying this is... That's right! That's right! One of you guys killed her. Right. K killed That's impossible! Hey, hey! It's not like an accident or something. Like... If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words... That also counts as a legitimate murder. Though some deaths fall into a gray area on this island, I make sure that it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monami takes such good care of people. Oh, uh, girl. Wipe those fucking tears off of your face and tell us what the fuck is going on. What's this? Oh, speaking of which... There it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, it's not my fault. Huh? Then whose, wait, huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? To find out, we hold the class trial. So... so let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. It's the file. <laughs> okay, I shall pass out the Monokuma tile number two. This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> class trial <laughs> investigation. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> that I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'll get stopped herself. <laughs> yes, Monokuma took everything away, including my magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically, so basically you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. <laughs> huh, 
But now's not the time to be focused on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Do, do we have to, to do it again? That cruel thing. We have to do it again. Why? I cannot believe it. Mahiru was killed by one of us. Damn it. Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial. Seriously, I'm, I'm dying. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way that we can just ignore the reason Mahiru was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because it's bad. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something that we should never forgive. Chalky. Well? The killer has their reasons, I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru too. It's really all Malakuna's fault, I understand that too. But even so, Killing. we should never, never forgive Killing. She usually has her heads in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. Uh, if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Then let's do it! Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would have wanted us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> uh, I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too. But, but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I will go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all you heard this, um, uh, if all you heard was the announcement, you wouldn't know where the murder took place. I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiru Koizumi? Why was she killed? We gotta find out and solve this already. That's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but. That's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. All right, investigation time, my dude. Let's go take a quick drink of water. And let's find out who fucking killed this photographer. First, I need to take a look at Monokuma file. Monokuma file number two, Mahiru Koizumi. Oh my god, she's five foot four. She's only a little bit shorter than I am. Uh, the victim is Mahiru Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 o'clock p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at, Ch at uh, Chandler Beach. Oh, Jesus. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. That was probably the baseball bat that's on the ground. There are no other conspicuous in external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m. That's the time that Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then if we just got into the beach house instead. No, not now's not the time to feel regret. I, I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. All right, investigation time has officially fucking begun. One more because my throat's kind of hurting a little. Thanks, Monami. Alright, left to right. Let's start off with Chiaki. How suspicious. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? See? You know the footprints from earlier? They're in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But the footprints are just. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first, I tried to get into the beach house from the door facing the road. But it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beachside door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahiru's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. Those footprints lead into the beach house in the tunnel. They look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Knowing that from the direction and how she was acting, Hiyo they, those are probably the footprints of a Hiyoko. Huh? Now that you mention it, Peko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Well. 
Unfortunately, I went swimming to sketch the first speech. I do not know anything about this speech. Maybe. Is that really true? But still. But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swim uh, since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead to the shore to the tunnel. Then whose footprints are these? I'm pretty sure they're Hyoko's. It appears. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yeah, it's probably an extremely important clue. Alright, yeah, it seemed like... I think those are Hyoko's, but it seems weird because she really liked Mahiru. Um, Alright, let's go with uh, Trash Can. Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but... Oh, there's only only a bunch of empty bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? But it seems to be important because it's still a fucking truth bullet. All right. Refrigerator. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to the last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? Oh, the entire upper row is empty. Not only that, the only drinks left here are the ones either looked at that looked either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. Pecco! I will never forget forgive killing. <laughs> However, Chucky seems quite different from her usual self. She must be uh, she must feel very strongly about the killing. That's it's not just Kiyaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. Alright, well, these are still- oh my god, alright, okay, Metal Bat. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiru with a blunt object. This- that blunt object, is this Metal Bat, right? Huh, this Metal Bat. Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Okay, I was totally fucking right! Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. So you played it yourself, Chiaki! That girl was killed from a blow with the metal bat just like Mahiru, and they're basically slanted up in the same way. Hey, hey! Did you... Did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but... Did you... Play it too? Then... Then I'm sure you know this, but... The case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case. I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were just lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? Mm. Mm. I'm not some gamer girl who talks about video games she's never beaten. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So, it's okay to say that this murder bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? I think so. I think it would be I think it would be good to say that it was a murder weapon. Um, let's see here. Let's do the trail of blood, the blood stain. There's blood stains on the floor and they're streaked as if someone crawled through them. They're probably streaked for when Mahiru tried to run away during the attack. So she used all of her energy to crawl away and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. I don't think so. Because of the way that her... What I think is that she was dragged to block the door so then that way the killer... Okay, so I'm, I, have two, I have two hypotheses for this. Either... Um, the killer just straight up wasn't thinking about this, and it was Hyoko, and she did crawl up against the door, and then just ran out like nothing happened, but like, why would she be in tears? Or, somebody else killed her, dragged her body to cover the door so in that way it wouldn't be opened, so then that way, whoever was inside of the beach house to discover her body, um with being like Hyoko, they would be framed for it. Those are my two hypotheses right now. 
Okay. Uh, Sonia! Sonia, fucking never mind. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth be behind her death. However, but what she really wanted, she probably wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully without something like this happening. All right, Kazuichi. Hmm. Uh, that's weird. What do you mean? Uh. Well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from the refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a large variety of drinks. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck? You started it. And we already talked about it. Um, Ibuki. Mahino, Mahimuru, Mahimuru, This is too weird. Something like this weird should only happen in song lyrics. Okay, and then let's look at this mask. This might have to do something. Hmm. What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from a toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? I mean, regardless, what is this even- why is this even here? Hmm. Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um. A gaudy mask? Oh, huh? uh, that mask! You've seen this? Sunwitch Espirito! It is the super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. An anime that has a viewership of over 90%. Is Sonya's country really alright? It cannot be. Could it be? Was this mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it could it be what? I am sorry. Um, please give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm. For Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. All right, Liddy. Pretty anime girl mask. Okay. I think I talked to everyone in here. So, let's check the closet. Because obviously this is open. The closet door is half open. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here too. Alright. Oh, I already see something. This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap in here. On the shelves on the floor, only one person could stand in here. But you think about it this way. It means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Alright, well first off, I haven't- Aha! I was like, I haven't been in here yet, so I have to see if there's the Monokuma in here. Uh, I've been found. Yeah, you have been found, bitch. Alright, um, besides that though, okay. Shelves. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies, too. Hmm, there's not really much else that could be related to the incident. Okay, but I definitely saw this. And I do remember Hiyoko saying that she really likes gummies because you don't want to eat real fruit. Hmm, there's something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is its clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? That does seem very suspicious. And in here. Hello! There's a lot of stuff around on the shelves, even the surfboards and uh, surfboards and surfboard case. But they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been lifted out instead of being put in the case. There's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. Uh, I guess that's everything inside the closet. Alright, well, let's leave. And there is one room, and since it's in the beach house, I should check it, which is the shower room. So this is the shower room. There is a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. It's something like that. That's right. The shower is being repaired, so water won't come out. But, but what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. If the shower is out of order, then isn't this just a waste of space? I'm 
Chloe! Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? Anyways, it's all Monokuma's fault! Everything is all Monokuma's fault! Oh, oh well, your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice! You must have read my mind. <laughs> think what you want of me, I've already given up. But let me tell you this one more time! As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair! I Promise, I will help with that! What help? You're doing the opposite. Well, anyways, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check the inside, too. Yeah, see, like I said, everything... I guess I might as well check the inside of the shower room, too. Like I said, everything in here is important. So. Oh, and Akane's already here. This is a really nice, really spacious shower. If it's this huge, you can almost, like, use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Oh, well, first off... Do I smell a Monokuma somewhere? Yes, no, maybe so? There's a toilet, but you can't really use it as a step stool. Alright, well, Akane! Damn it. Hmm, guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. Uh, but there is a window up here. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow? Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl- if someone can crawl- It probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off of it. However, the ceiling is really high, so the window is also saturate, uh, situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about, like, nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron-barred window. If that's the case. Yep, it'd be possible to go in and out through there. What? What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Alright, I got it! I'll pitch in and help you out! Huh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Shouldn't it be the opposite? Aren't I, like... You can lift shit, I can't. Pitching and help? It feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. If you don't hurry up, I'll punch ya! She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> don't worry, my panties are clean. Okay. <laughs> I, I see. That's good. I let out a deep sigh, then bent over under the window. Alright! All right! As she scouted, Akane jumped on my shoulders. Uh, uh. Oh my god, the the chest hey, of it all. Your balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. You you're a lot heavier than I expected. Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like Every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. Yeah, and she eats fucking everything, bitch. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I can't, I can't. Bye. 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 This bitch's mom's stepmom's. This bitch's mom's stepmom, or this bitch's stepmom. That's what I meant. With with her gentleman suitors, getting drunk and putting her hands all over Akane, bitch, bitch. I think that they just wanted to do more than just massage, girl. Honey, are you okay? <laughs> Do you want to talk? <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. So, how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. I see, I see. So that's what happened. Yeah, what's up? D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? 
Hold on. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try! Oh, that's some good voice acting right there. With the Kanae on my shoulders, I cranked my neck so high that I started to worry. Oh, hello! This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. Okay, okay, so let's take out the number of suspects. There's only a few people that I can think of. There's only a few. If if that's how they escape the window, that narrows it down to I'd say, even though it's nine feet high, I mean, we just witnessed with, with Akane. She can get up there, no problem. Wait, like, or like, she could, she, she has to get up there with like some help. But I can only think of Nekomaru only because he, as the coach, he probably has some sort of way to like maneuver his body in order to jump up there. Or. Pekoyama, Peko Pekoyama, with her bamboo stick. Since she carries that around everywhere, it's not impossible for her to lean it up against the wall and balance on it. Who else? Hyoko's too small, so I think that Hyoko was framed. If they, if the, if if if. If they exited through the window, because it's always a possibility, that would mean that they would make Hyoko into a suspect because she's like four foot five or something like that. She's a tiny girl. Fuck. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking a lot. Akane jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem but the problem is, how are they able to reach the window? Hmm, even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> but if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Oh yeah, that's also a thing. Probably an accomplice too, but I don't think that there would be an accomplice in this. Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? But, but, but even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as a step stool would still be inside. Like. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh, really? So. Yeah, like. I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja could climb fences and walls, no problem, right? Hmm. Just as I thought, it looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Hi. What the heck? And even I took the time to lend you my wisdom! You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help! You. It was such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't! <laughs> oh well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them! Alright, iron barred window? I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Well, first off, are you sure that there's no fucking hidden Monokuma up in here somewhere, bitch? I guess not. I guess I'll just have to keep go looking on my off time. Uh, but with that, I'm going to go ahead and pause the episode right there. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Veed. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching this. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching me um, find Mahiru's dead body <laughs> up against the door frame. And now start the investigation on who murdered her. And right now, my biggest suspects are Hyoko. Pekko, and I feel like, I feel like Nakumaru could find some way to get up into that window. I don't know, he, he's the ultimate coach. With last game, you have to take ultimates into account. Make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe button down below, you know, have a fully YouTuber out. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss fun any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!